Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining why a Ferrari V8 sounds different from a Corvette V8 um, and I thought it would be an appropriate time to wear this shirt that I got while I was visiting uh, the Ferrari gallery in Marinello. So anyways, on to the two cars. Now the main difference is the design of the crankshaft. So the firing order is what's going to be different um, because of this different crankshaft. So a Ferrari V8 uses a flat plane crank and a Corvette uses a cross-plane crank. And I've already made a video uh, explaining the two of these, so if you haven't watched that yet, you may want to check that out first. I will include a link in the description. So, here we have our Ferrari V8 with uh, the numbering system on this Ferrari V8 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this will be the front of the car here, and then 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, down the right side of the uh, engine if you're looking towards the car. So, uh, on a Corvette, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, coming down, this being the front of the car. So what this looks like is, as you have your exhaust pulses, you can see cylinder 1 is going to fire first, then cylinder 5, uh, and these will kind of go down these two uh, exhaust uh, pipes. And so what's happening here is, here you've got your first cylinder uh, that fired some time ago, and then after that, you had your fifth cylinder fire from right here, so it went 1, 5, then it goes three, seven. So there's your third cylinder exhaust pulse. There's your seventh cylinder exhaust pulse. Four, eight. There's your fourth. There's your eighth. There's your second. There's your sixth. And then back to one. So you can see these pulses as they travel through the exhaust pipe. They're even. They're uniform. So there's a space, pulse, space, pulse, space, pulse. And so what we've got here on the Corvette, this is why it's going to sound different. Because look at what happens with its firing order. So we've got one, eight, seven, two, six, five, four, three. One, eight, seven, two, six, five, four, three. So first we'll have our first exhaust pulse just like we did on this side. Uh, it's just going to be on the opposite side. Then our eighth fires, so so far it looks the same. Then seven, we've got even spacing so far. Then we go to two, uh, and then there's an exhaust pulse. And then we go to six. So on the same cylinder bank, two, two cylinders are firing back to back. So we're going to have these two exhaust pulses back to back. So that's going to create a higher pressure exhaust pulse right there, um, rather than on this side where it's uniform. Then it goes five, four. So five, back over, and then back to three. And then after three, we go back to one. So there's those two pulses side by side again. So you can see in this setup, you've got this area here where there's no uh, exhaust pulse a long pause, and then on this side there's two back-to-back, -back, so it's going to be a stronger pulse. So this uneven exhaust pulse is what gives it that burble, that blub blub blub, uh, that, that you hear with these V8 engines, versus kind of a more steady stream, or scream with these uh, Ferrari V8s, because basically it's like two inline four cylinders, and you're going to have a smooth exhaust note, because those pulses are evened out, rather than uh, kind of spaced out separately. The advantage of having them evenly placed is that the even exhaust pulses uh, give you a more, more um, steady uh, exhaust scavenging, whereas the exhaust scavenging with this is going to be kind of uneven uh, depending on the pulses. So you can get kind of better exhaust scavenging with a setup like this. Uh, you'll have that kind of characteristic burble sound with this uh, Corvette, Corvette V8 engine uh, layout. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.